watch your step. Move! Hey there, girl. Will you move? in a good read? Great choice. Catch you some other time. It is some quick yep. at that big farm. All the layers on the mm -hmm. Can you help me? Please help me. My damn horse died on me and my legs are hurting and I need to get home. Be happy to. Get on. Oh, you kind, mister. If he uh, be so kind to take me to LaGrange, that's where I'm from. That's where my people is from. Sure, that's fine. Don't normally trust no outside man. No offense, mister. Just don't trust them much. Quite all right, ma'am. I don't trust him much either. You seem like a horse rider? Yeah, your whole life, I bet. Horse don't help much in Lagrano. Need a horse can swim fine as a duck be much more used to us. Last horse we bought, got his foot stuck in the mud, gator came and ripped his leg off. The horse just wobbling in the water, another gator came and took the other leg. Then the horse fell and died for a part time, it's gonna come by with a rifle on him. And there's no word of lie. Jeez. You sure it's the horse that's the problem? Maybe you should be worrying about the gators and where was it? Legrat? Well, that's how like this. Hmm. Bet you travel a lot. You a fool. Can't find yourself no home to live and grow and die and if you always moving. Can't build no roots down. Can't grow nothing up. Always moving is no good. Maybe I don't want roots. How about that? I'm not looking to set them. You think when was the last time you spent the week in the same bed? How long ago was that? I asked you, but it was a long time. No offense, but I bet it's been a long time for you. We getting close, don't die or not. Okay, here's good. Thank you, mister. Please let me give you this on account of you being so kind. Hope I'd never have to be on that horse. Good luck with the wildlife, animal. miss. You be well. I ain't gonna forget what you did for me, no.
calm there. There, girl. It's me! Welcome back. Easy there. Well, I am sweating like a hog. Arthur! Arthur, get over here! What do you want? Oh, don't be like that. This is a good one. Yeah, it always is with you. Until we start getting shot at. Oh, well, have you ever been shot at by a cow? Whose cows? This drunken rancher up at Hill Haven Ranch. He's such a flop that we could take a whole marching band up there and steal, and he still wouldn't wake up. And he's a son of a bitch. He said unkind things about me. Mm, he ain't all bad then. I, I owe you after last time. This could be my make good. I don't know. I need you. You know those two bastards that buy stolen livestock. Sure, I know them. I don't like them. I'll give you 60% of the take. How many cows? I don't know, small herd, I guess. 20, maybe? 20, huh? Come on. <laughs> okay, let's mount up. So where's this ranch? Right in the middle of Scarlet Meadows. Just past the road's turnoff. So how'd you find out about this place? I've been hanging around the saloon in Rhodes a bit. Rhodes? Yeah, the, the barkeep there gossips like a fishwife. And a couple of times he's mentioned how this rancher's a fall-down drunk these days. Sounds like he don't know his ass from his armpit half the time. <laughs> you sure you ought to be hanging around Rhodes after everything that happened? What do you mean? I mean, that ain't gonna do your health no good if they find out you ride with us. Nah, it's fine. I was never there at the same time as you boys. And they'd never reckon on a distinguished old feller like me running with a bunch of reprobates. Well, just be careful. Yep. How old are you, anyway? Well, let's just say I was born sometime between the fall of 49 and the fall of Rome. <laughs> and my second wife always used to describe me as ageless, though she did leave me for a younger man. Hmm. Well, maybe we should cut you open and count the rings of whiskey. Now, I'm ready for my retirement, though. <laughs> Let me tell you. You've been pretty much retired from the moment I met you. Now, I mean the tropics, you know, the real deal. What Dutch is talking about. That's why I jumped on this opportunity. Sooner we get enough money to leave, the better. Dancing girls with flowers in their hair, warm sand, cold beer. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna see out my days. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. We're gonna cut up this way. Let's get up there on foot from here. Don't want the horses clopping around outside the window. Come on, let's take a closer look. Oh, shit. Look over there. The hell? Who are these clowns? I don't know. 
This is the first time I ever seen anyone else here. Let's sneak up closer. What? Where the hell are you going? I think I got a plan. Hurry up. I'm doing the best I can. So shut up. Hurry up and be quiet. Ow. You said he was a drunkard. You said that we could play the fiddle and we wouldn't wake him. I was talking in a metaphor. Now hurry up. Oh, what's a metaphor? You're a jackass. That's a metaphor. Son of a bitch. Well, that ain't one. Now, now, now get back to looking out. And shut up. So, what now? I thought you had a plan. I ain't so sure now. Christ, I'll take care of him. You hear that? It ain't nothing. Oh, I heard something. Hurry up. How can I hear anything with all your speaking? You are gonna wake him up. Oh, oh, I'm doing the best I can. Okay, this here is a rut. Get. You, you better break the padlock. That was loud. Yeah, well, we ain't got time. You said he ain't gonna wake up, and we ain't seen him yet. I'll get him out. Right up next to the house to keep him from running off on us. Yeah! 
door. Hey there. What you got? Cattle. Well, I can see that. Whose cattle? Yours now, if the price is right. Well, I can give you uh, hmm. 50 bucks. Okay. 50 bucks each times uh, 20 cattle. No, no, 50 total. <laughs> this is old Squeer's cattle. He knows me. I can't do better than that. I'll have to move them right away. We'll take 200, friend. But I got costs. Mm. 150. 75 and not a dollar more. 100. And I don't shoot you. <laughs> so menacing. Clyde, pay your friend here. Mm. <sighs> mm. <clears throat> Bye now. Be careful out there. This is nasty country. Hey, don't forget to put some in the pot. Oh, of course. <laughs> like I told you, easy. Sure, I guess. I'm headed home. You coming? Nah, I'll see you later. Thanks for the help with this, Arthur. Mister? Hey, Bob. Can't leave us in here. Thank you for that, friend. I don't have no money, clearly, but maybe I know something of interest. Overheard a fella up in jail talking about some big money farmhouse up north of Rhodes. Heard they got some money. Heard some other stuff, too. Not too savory. Oh. 
Get on quick. Two are easier to spot than one. Okay. I got real problems to deal with, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Keeping busy? Trying to. Well, don't let me stop you. Okay. Easy. Whoa.
You okay, Mary Beth? Yes. Glad you and Susan got to Tilly in town. Yeah. Let's just hope that gang stays away from her now. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sounds good. Always good to see you. Nice new hat, eh? Don't know what we're gonna do with you. I don't either. Buck up. It's gonna be all right. Whatever you say. God help anyone trying what? to get past you. Morning. Karen. Everything okay? I guess. Bored. Well, we need to get you out on another job again soon. Okay. You awake? What, well, Arthur? Sorry. <laughs> it was too tempting. I'm too tired for this. Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Quite often, there can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Uh, Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, uh, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Phil, you joined the party. 
We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Gum gum? We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? Yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. And that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Find the mayor if you can, and stay out of trouble, and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well.
me a bloody drink, will you? A small one. Just big enough for me to swim lengths in, you know? Yes, madam. <laughs> you know, I... Great fuck, I'm drunk. <laughs> you know, I used to be a great beauty. And an even greater wit. Time. What a total bastard it is, huh? Then again, I always loved bastards. The real ones, I mean. Champagne, sir? Good evening. <laughs> With luck. Mister? Hugely overrated. I tried it enough. Well, I, I tried both. You know, bastards and marriage. I even married a bastard. <laughs> that didn't work out so good. Oh, my God. I should not have got up this morning. I, I, I need to go and good sit evening. down and have a little rest. You're walking away from history. You I mean, modern art is all very well, but my daughter... The future. This is meant to be the <laughs> Come here, McClare. Wherever did you get that? Why, that would be telling. Oh. Can I help you, sir? Evening, gentlemen. <laughs> Not quite sure yet. Hello? How was the show? I heard you went. <laughs> outrageous. These gentlemen. Well, uh, Bonjour, if, if that's French culture for you. Gentlemen, sir? I hope you're having a fine Hello? evening. Uh, How Mr. are you? Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> and you, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskins. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, am you? And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Hey, what say you and me cool off? Hello there. Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. All right, okay, goddammit. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh! 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 My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass, and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Bonjour, monsieur. Evening, sir. Hi there, sir. No problem? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Hey. Is every 
everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. of you, you know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. Oh. Hello. What did you find now? There's plenty of money, Musu, here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Interesting times. Uh, I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? 
Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. for the blind. Mm. Oh, is someone there? Hello? There you go, oh, friend. Bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. you were blind what oh uh no you must be thinking of another blind fella damn me oh come on you piece of shit you they gonna let you get away with this hey move it my 
Watch out. There's that low life I saw. Mama. Well, well. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see A very good choice, sir. Like the heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir.
Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation. Praise God for small mercies. <laughs> Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. <laughs> well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't whinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? Are you all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss. Listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Those old Driscoll boys. Come on, let's find the others. Mrs. Wilson had another daughter. Yes. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Are you joining us? Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this. Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> 
We'll see about that. To hell with it. You know what? Call. Here we go then. Well, hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. <laughs> so, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know... I thought about getting into hosiery, but uh, I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Here goes nothing. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well... I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pear cakes. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None take. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but, uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next. We'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are.
Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <clears throat> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand, plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Is that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform. By the way. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. <laughs> You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. My friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. We gotta get out of here. Clean forgot to bring my gun to. This ain't how you want to We gotta go. Come on. Dude, Paul, what about the alligators? Oh my God. Well. Never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? Uh, a few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Well, this can be expected. Good morning, Ian. 